This video was sponsored by Pandora Jewelry. One of my biggest fears of becoming a parent was that I'd lose my sense of self. But now that I'm on the other side, I realize the role of mother is something that was added to my identity rather than something that would completely define me. But honestly, the past few months have kind of been a blur and I haven't really been feeling like myself. Luckily, while I was pregnant, I wrote a list of things I love to do to defocus and recharge. So for this video, I'm gonna spend it reconnecting with myself. And first up, let's go on a walk. Welcome to one of my favorite hikes. Truthfully, a good walk is always great for the body and the mind. And this one's great because as you can see, there's a hill, lots of greenery as well. Gorgeous. Let's go. Look at that view. I swear to God, once I turn 30, suddenly I'm appreciating the things that my parents would always tell me to appreciate, like a skyline, a good walk, good air quality. <sighs> All right, so this is the outfit of the day. I went for all cool tones. We're going for cool tone school girl vibes. So starting from the top, I've got this lightweight acid wash top. I tucked it into a little plaid skirt and then I threw on a gray beret. And then lastly, for accessories, I am decked out in Pandora jewelry, of course. And all these pieces are from their me collection. I love how these pieces just add a little bit more flair and versatility. They've got so many different types of styles to fit your personality. I've always loved to mix and layer pieces, so I've got something interesting to look at, especially when it comes to mixing metals and textures like the silver and pearl. These days I've been loving dainty and simple rings and both of these are just so sleek and add a pretty little glimmer. I am obsessed with this necklace because even though it looks very simple, it's incredibly edgy and versatile. You have the option to make it as tight or as loose as you want it. I am going for a more of a choker vibe because my neckline is a little bit higher. It has this carabiner clip so you can adjust the size and you could even wear it in the front like this to make it look even more edgy, kind of like a leash vibe. On my wrist, I stacked these two bracelets. I love the juxtaposition of the industrial silver with the precious pearl. I think this is always a great combo. I love that this collection is really customizable. You've got the option to add little links, charms, medallions to add more pizzazz and punch to your look. All these pieces are expertly crafted and made with genuine metals. I love the fact that you can really, really like touch and see the quality of these pieces. If you guys would like to stack and style your own pieces, I'm gonna leave a link to that in my description box. You can also go to this link over here, us.pandora.net to check out Pandora Jewelry. My delicious breakfast. I actually tried out a new recipe this time and I will be dining al fresco outside. This is one of my favorite simple pleasures to do. There's something about just getting that vitamin D nourishing your body. You've got the food also nourishing you as well. And even though I'm gonna devour this in a couple minutes, I still like to put some effort with the presentation because when it looks pretty, it just tastes delicious. Mmm, wow. Eggs are so versatile. I don't know why I don't do this more often. A lot of times after I finish cooking, I just like, I'm ready to hammer down at the table, but it's nice to like eat with intention outside.
All right, guys, it is time for bullet journaling. I love this activity so much. It really sets me up for each month. And I was worried that I wouldn't have enough time to do this once London got here. So one day I just sat myself down and I just blasted through it. And it took me around 25 to 30 minutes to do it. Granted, I'm not very creative with the spreads anymore. I just do the same one over and over. One of the main reasons why I love doing this is because it forces me to get off my phone and not look at any screens. I'm just looking at what's in front of me and I'm like interacting with the paper. All right, so my February spread is finished. So the first page is just my line calendar. This is where I'll write like the most important thing I need to do that day, which is the highlight of my day. On the next page, we've got things that I would like to track. I've got my exercise tracker. Uh, if I have washed Cheeky's eyes, uh, this is if I've gotten a good night's sleep. I wanna try and squeeze it at least seven to eight hours every night. This is if I've had a healthy day or not. And this is like sun exposure. Getting sun in my eyes as soon as I wake up. Like maybe I'll give myself like a 60, 30 to 60 minute window, but I wanna try and get more sun in my eyes because apparently it's supposed to help you sleep better at night. I recently learned how important sleep is for your mental health and your physical health. Um, it's when you're doing the most regenerating. So that's something that I'm really trying to prioritize. And uh, sun exposure, the first thing in the morning and getting like bright lights is important for your circadian clock to start. So I'm trying to make that a habit. And yeah, that completes my February spread. We are finished. Do you guys like my little setup here? Because I do. I feel like a student. Just because I graduated does not mean I'm gonna stop learning. In fact, it makes me wanna learn more because there's no pressure, there's no grades, and I can choose whatever I wanna learn. Tonight, I will be watching Dr. Andrew Huberman's lectures on YouTube. He is my favorite neuroscientist slash professor at Stanford. He's incredible. When I watch his videos, I actually just pretend that I myself am a Stanford student. He is extremely generous with all the knowledge he knows and he uploads these amazing YouTube videos. And uh, I've made it a mission to watch all of his YouTube videos starting from the beginning. So tonight I'm gonna watch how your nervous system works and changes. This is his first episode. He just has a really great way of explaining dense topics into very like bite-sized, concise ways that are just easy to learn. It is fair to say that the nervous system governs all other biological systems. If you have a stomach ache, for instance, sure, you feel that in your stomach, but it's really your nervous system that's causing the stomach ache. The ache aspect of it is a nervous system feature. All right, so oh. we are gonna be cooking dinner. This is one of my favorite activities to do. It's one of our favorite activities You like to it do. too? Yeah, we sometimes put some music on or put the telly on. We won't watch anything because we're fully in the zone, but mm -hmm. we, we know our roles as well, don't we? Exactly. Well, tonight we're gonna do a lovely roasted salmon. We're gonna blanch it with a lovely bit of lemon on top, a bit of garlic, just some simple olive oil, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. There's some roasted Brussels sprouts. Again, we're gonna pop them in the oven so they get the char, a little bit of crisp, a lot of delish. Nice and simple tonight. Using all ingredients from our farmer's market. We love the farmer's market. Yeah. And you know you're getting good quality, like the salmon as well. It's, good quality from uh, the farmer's market. And it's fresh. And like, it's fresh. The produce just lasts so much longer yeah. because it's not, it hasn't traveled like thousands and thousands of miles. So like even my little bag of kale, like usually if you get it at the grocery store, it will start to wilt and decay within, within what, like three or four days of using it. That's but not the, okay when it decays. No, it's not okay. But with the farmer's market, we were using it for like a week. And I was like, what the heck? Like, what is yeah. this? Witchcraft, but it's, <laughs> it's just because it's fresh and local. Yeah. All right, to pop them in, we've got the carrots, the sprouts, salmon. Throw them in at the same time, it should 
be done at the same time. Salmon is looking good. And that rest. Oh, I got the carrot. I got the carrot there. Oh, I'm so excited. The teamwork. Yes. Smash that. We did smash that. Get some of the lovely basil dip from the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mmm, mm. this is such a simple meal. Yeah, mm. clean. Mm-hmm, for half the fun. Mm-hmm. So Cheeky really enjoys it because she gets absolute front row seat. Mm-hmm, the temptation's real. She really wants it, don't you, Tupperly? So this is the final activity I'll be doing, which is plan for tomorrow. I love doing this the night before because it makes the next day very simple. I just wake up and I immediately know exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I've noticed that when I don't do this the night before, I can be a little scrambled or I can get very distracted the next day. So, you know, this only takes like five minutes. I just check my calendar, see what I need to do. So tomorrow I am going to be editing this video and then I also have my first cognitive behavioral therapy session, which should be very interesting. And that completes all the activities that make me feel good and nourished. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and thanks to Pandora Jewelry for sponsoring this video. I am going to hit the hay, like my eyes look so tired. It's only 8.35, but I need to get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.